Tourism World Canada here and I'm so excited to be in Merritt, British Columbia this weekend. Today we are starting a tour at the Kakuli Cafe. Don't panic, we have Bannock. Now let's go on inside. Welcome to Merritt. Welcome to Kakuli, don't panic, we have Bannock. Thank you. Yeah. What's <laughs> now severely bullied and discriminated against because I have an invisible disability called apraxia. So you were telling me earlier that you face discrimination due to being an indigenous. Can you share a bit of that story? Yeah, so I didn't know that, uh, you know, the color of your skin mattered. I didn't know that there was culture and not culture and, you know, I just, I didn't know. So when I showed up and people were making fun of, uh, you know, the color of my skin or the way that I talked or the way that I looked, I just, it was a shock to the system, and it's like, how do you approach it? You know, what is going on? And, and uh, my poor mother, you know, I had to go home and say, like, what is going on? Why are they making fun of me? Um, you know, so inclusivity, yeah, they nailed it right there. Um, yeah, we just open our arms and open our doors and say welcome, and there's none of that here, because, you know, that's just not who we are as indigenous people. Yeah. Wonderful. So before, what like, what about the culture in Merritt is different from where you where you grew up? Yeah. So there is 204 nations in British Columbia alone, and over 600 across Canada. So I come from New Paltz Nation, Balakula, and right now I reside in the Intercatlantic Nation. I can say it <laughs> only once. No one. So you know, like. Going from the coast to the interior, protocols change, um, ceremonies change, cultural practices change, prayers change, everything changes. But the one thing you know that we all have in common is that we just say like, join us, join us, and we're just gonna sit together and we're gonna eat together. Wonderful. So with the bannock you make here, obviously don't panic. You, we have bannock has been like a huge thing yeah. since we've been here. Um, is, is this a family recipe or a family recipe that was passed down or where did you get the recipe for your family? So the recipe belongs to Sharon Bond, the founder of Kikumi Cafe, and it's a family recipe of hers. So I actually have to buy the recipe from Sharon so it stays in the family. Okay, that's wonderful. Now what else do you have to offer at the Kikumi Cafe? Like what is the best thing you can have here? As like in terms of the menu? Sure, yeah. Um, I would say our salmon. Our salmon sandwich or our salmon breakfast bowl. Uh, everything here is served with bannock. So I say salmon because I come from the coast. Um, everyone has a different taste about all the food, but I always say go for the food. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I love my smoked salmon. Smoked salmon is my favorite thing. So I feel you. Um, well, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I have a card for you. Oh, thank, thank you, you for allowing me to come. And thank you for watching.